Hey guys, uh, we're taking a set of notes here. Um, and so I want you to follow along now. I'm sorry, I forgot my stylus at school, so I'm writing with my finger. So if it gets sloppy, my bad. All right, so our topic here um, is going to be, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can write clear. All right, so our topic is going to be drawing force diagrams. All right, so our topic is drawing force diagrams. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking to yourself, well, I've already drawn force diagrams before, uh, so how come we're doing this again? Well, here's the answer, and I think the answer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you guys the essential question for this one. All right, so the essential question is going to be how, how can I... Uh, let's not say draw. Sorry. Let's not say draw. <clears throat> let's say, how can I represent force with a simple, and the word's going to be simple here, with a simple diagram. So that's our essential question for today. <coughs> Excuse me. How can I represent force with a simple diagram? So our force diagrams so far have been a little bit complicated, I think, because we're trying to draw on top of pictures. So today we're really going to strip it down and we're going to make these things as simple as possible, which I think is a good thing. Oh, cool. Mrs. McSparren just brought me a stylus. Thanks, Mrs. McSparren. Okay. So how can I draw or represent force with a simple diagram? Now, there's a couple things to remember, okay? So... We'll draw our line here. Um, so the first couple of notes, I want to say, remember this, okay? So, uh oh, okay. So, remember this: forces are. Sorry, that's the stylus might not be making me better. Forces are vectors. It's not making me better. Forces are vectors. So let's get that written down. Forces are vectors. Um, now remember what that means, okay? So we know that the arrows tell us a direction, but the more, or not more important, but equally important is they tell us the size, okay? So we want to say that bigger, bigger forces have bigger arrows. Bigger forces have bigger arrows. All right, good. Um, and so I'm going to draw just a little, a little graphic, I think, that sort of reminds us of that. So if we had a graphic that was like that, and that was 10 newtons, okay? Well, if I wanted to draw an arrow that was 20 newtons, I should see a line that's twice as long. Okay. 20 newtons. So uh, that was twice as long. Okay. So right now, uh, you guys should get that stuff written down. Pause. And this is a good time to write yourself a question over here, okay? Write a question. What was that section about? What did I ask or what, what did I answer in that question or with, with that section? Um, so pause it and write yourself a question. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is let, let's talk about how we're actually going to draw these diagrams. So I think that it's going to be helpful for us to go ahead and do a sample diagram. And then I'm going to write some steps out. Okay. So um, I'm going to draw... Two big boxes here. So this is the problems that you're gonna that you're gonna see are gonna look like this. So you're gonna have a drawing on the left, and then you're gonna make your force diagram on the right. So let's first let's let's come up with a drawing. Now um, on your worksheet you're gonna have uh, like pre-made examples, but let's just do um, so like we'll do the ground, and then I don't know about you guys, I've got a little lamp in my house, okay. 
Nice. Okay. So let's draw a lamp just to start with. Um, so that's my drawing, and I'm going to make a force diagram to represent that lamp and everything that's all the forces that are acting on it. That's going to go over there. All right. So um, we're going to have four steps to drawing our simple force diagram. Um, so step number one, okay, and this is a big one, okay, is identify. Oh man, I'm going to rewrite that because that is sloppy. Let's zoom in. Identify receiver. Okay, now that's not all. With dotted line. Okay, identify receiver with dotted line. Get that written down. Um, and if you want to, with your questions over here on the left side, Okay, so your questions over here, you can do a different question for every step, or you can do one question for all the steps, whatever helps you organize it best. Um, but I'm going to identify my receiver with a dotted line. So what I'm going to do, let's do a different color, is I'm going to go ahead and put a dotted line around my lamp. Okay, so my lamp is going to be the receiver of my motion. Um, and here's what's going to happen is over here, instead of drawing the lamp, we're gonna draw a dot in the middle. So the lamp is now the dot. So instead of that big messy thing, we're just putting a dot down. So number one is identify the receiver with a dotted line. Okay, step two now is gonna be, then we're gonna start drawing our forces. So we're gonna draw a force for everything that touches the receiver. Okay, get that written down. Draw a force for everything that touches the receiver. Okay, so if I go up here and I wanna draw a force for everything that touches the receiver, I gotta think about what's touching the lamp. All right, well the only thing that I see touching the lamp is the floor. Um, and we know that the force that the floor exerts on the lamp is going to be what we call the normal force, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw an arrow up, and we're going to call that normal force, Fn. All right, so that's all we got to do for number two, draw a force for everything that touches the receiver. Obviously, more complicated examples are going to have more forces than that, but for this one, it's nice and simple. Okay, now, number three is going to be Draw force for any field force. Now, at this point, if we're thinking field forces, there's one field force that's going to be involved in every single thing we do, all right? And that's gravity. So I know right here that my gravity is going to go down like that. Gravity always goes straight down. Um, now what I want you to notice, by the way, is that that line and that line should be about the same length because my forces should be balancing each other out. So the, the normal force is balancing the gravitational force. So they're the same length, they're the same amount of force. All right, now number four. Oh, I don't want to write in highlighter. Number four. All right, now we want to transfer all lines to the dot. Transfer all, we'll call this arrows, all arrows to, let's write this down, to the right. Okay. And all arrows start from dot. Okay, sorry, that's bad handwriting. Jeez, Mr. McSparren. All right, so transfer, transfer all arrows to the right. All arrows start from the dot. So make sure you pause yourself long enough to, uh, to give yourself time to write that. Now, here's what that means. Now, I've got a really cool tool. Okay, 
I can cut this. Oh, that's not going to get everything. Let's try again. So I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to slide it over exactly the way it was before to the dot. Now, obviously, you guys are going to have to redraw it because you don't have the fancy iPad like I do. But all I do is I just slide my, my arrows over to the dot. Um, now, the last thing, and let's go ahead and write this, okay? On this, we want to identify agents. Identify agents. So what that means is when I go to draw this, I have to zoom in and make sure that I say my normal force comes from the ground and my gravity comes from the earth. All right, so we have to make sure we identify agents, but that's it, okay? That's how we draw these things. Now, um, this thing's getting a little bit long, but I do want to go ahead and I want to do one more example of one that's a little bit more complicated, and then you guys are going to have a lot of time to practice. All right, um, yeah, yeah, I'll do one more example. All right, so I like this example here. Okay, draw my box. Now, you guys are really going to be impressed with my artwork here, okay? I'm going to draw the ground. I'm going to draw a box on the ground, and then I'm going to draw a little stick figure, man. Okay, so we're going to go stick figure. Look at that. Oh, he's pushing on the box. Nice. Okay, so I've got a stick figure pushing on a box, and I'm going to start with a dot there, okay? Now, when I go to draw these things, okay, so remember what I have to do. So first, identify the receiver with a dotted line. All right, so I can do that. My receiver here is going to be my box. So I'm going to do a different color. All right, there we go. So that's my receiver. Now, second thing I want to do, okay, is I want to draw a force for everything that touches the receiver. All right, so let's go and look at our box here. What's touching the receiver? Well, first thing I see is the ground, okay? So the ground is exerting a force up. That force is always called normal force. Uh, the other thing that, that I see touching the receiver is I see that this little guy here, all right, he is pushing this direction, and that's going to be an applied force. That's my little man, all right? Uh, next, now, remember that he's if he is pushing that direction, there's always something resisting in the opposite direction, and that thing is called friction. So I'm going to have some, whoops, I'm going to have some friction pushing back that way, all right, and then, so that's all my contact forces, that's everything touching it. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to draw my field force, number three. My field force here, just like in most of these examples, is going to be Gravity, now notice that I made that arrow about the same length as that arrow because they're canceling each other out. All right, now my last step up here is to transfer all arrows to the right. Okay, good. So let's see if I can do this now. So I'm going to first, let's grab my, let's grab that and let's move it to the right. Let's grab that. And let's move it over here. Obviously, you guys are going to have to draw this yourselves. Move that. And then we'll move that. Oop. All right. So now, notice that all of... Okay. So all of my forces now... Um, let's grab this guy and move him just up here a little bit. All right, good. So notice that all my arrows start at the dot. That's really important, okay? Um, now remember, the last thing I have to do is identify my agents. So normal force, all right, that's the ground. All right, applied force, that was the man. The man was pushing. Gravity is always Earth, unless we're on the moon. And then friction, 
Okay, friction is the ground again. All right, so there we go. That's my finished uh, force diagram for my man pushing the box. All right, now you guys are going to try it on your own.